So to start out by building the drive tire, I need to make sure that you have the Disabled Collisions Game Pass. If you do not, you can go ahead and buy it. Then you're going to search up tire and you're going to select the one that is worth $50. You're going to click enable after placing an item in the precision build mode tab. Change the snapping to no snapping and change the angle to 45. And then what you're going to do is you're going to shrink it to as small as you can. And then you're going to align it with the center of the little bar under the train. I'm using the multi launch coaster for this. You're going to align it in the center and then align it to where it barely touches the train like that. Then where there are these little boxes right here with the little triangles, you're going to place the tire in the middle of it like so and then use change it to one fourth snapping and then you can place it anywhere else you want which I'm going to place another one right here and then once you have placed that there you're going to click on this and you're going to get this cylinder to shrink it and shrink it again change it to no snapping make sure it is that's as thin as it can go and then you're going to put it to the bottom of the tire and resize it to where it fits the tire but does not come out of the edges like that it should not come out of the edges good now you see the little rim around the tire you can see it right there you're going to align it with the rim and then expand it on the other side also to where it aligns with the rim then change the color of that if you can if you can't you just uh, okay we're just gonna remove the tire really quick change the color to metal and then to this uh, this gray right here and just copy it put it back to one fourth snapping and then copy it over the reason why I'm doing it on one fourth snapping is because if you build something here you can just pull it over and it will line up perfectly now once you do that you are then going to select this pr the same primitive again make sure you change it to no snapping and then make the pull as small as it can go and then make it so where it comes out just a little bit on the other side and the same on this side make sure you have metal and then change the color to white now once you have changed the color to white align the cylinder with the center of the tire and put it in the middle between that rail and the tire I want you to change the snapping to 45 we're gonna place one block and then you're going to shift and then the click the scroller wheel on the tire and then it can you can rotate it around then just rotate that around like that then then you're going to make sure that you have uh, one fourth snapping and then let me actually click it looks like I lost this I have to redo it again so you're going to go back into primitives if you forgot to do that change it to you no know, snapping align with the center and make it stick out just a little bit like that then change it to that to Sorry, is the white color. Then drag it over to the middle. 45 snapping. Shift middle mouse button. And then rotate it around. And make sure you get every single one of them placed. Now once you have done that, you can then select the tower again and then get primitive again. And then you're going to not shorten it as much as you can but to where it is in the middle of the tires like that then just shorten it to where it's about that much so it's just a little bit coming out and not rubbing against the tire change the color to that gray and metal actually yes change it to this gray right there one fourth snapping 
Place one there. Pull it over. Place another one there. Now you're going to get the cube, the first primitive. Change it to that same gray and metal. No snapping. And then you're going to make a sort of block going around the tire. Not really, but like next to the tire. About that big would be fine. Then make sure that it is above this rail or else it'll clip through and it will not look realistic. Now, make sure that this edge goes past the cylinder, but don't make it go too far. And then align this edge with the edge of the tire right there. Now, once you have done that, expand it to the bottom of the peg or like right above it, which that should be fine. Change it to one fourth snapping, pull it over, and then you are going to get no snapping again. Make it as flat as it can. Just make a little gap in the middle, go back to one fourth snapping, and pull it over again. Now you are going to select this primitive again, then rotate it 45 degrees, change it to no snapping, or 190 degrees. Then make sure that the cylinder is not bigger in width than the block that we placed. That should be fine. And then align it in the middle of the, th the block and shorten it to short as it can go and put it in the middle and make sure that you change the color to that gray and metal first or else it'll be hard to go in that tiny little gap then move it over to right there once you've done that shift select that go to no snapping and make a tiny block as tiny as it can go or as small as it can go and then you are going to place um, a block like that stretch it out to where it is barely touching that blue bar but it's just a little bit going over then you're going to pull it over this way and move it to where it aligns with the edge of that and then stretch it out just a little bit and then align with the other side then you're going to pull it up here shorten it a little bit and then stretch it out on both sides just a tiny bit and then you're going to make a small square once you have made a squ small square then just put it on the other side like so and once you have done that select that block again put a one-fourth snapping and then copy each of them to the other side where the other drive tire is and make sure that you select each item after you use it or else it will not build properly and like let's say you have this item you want to build this item you click on it it's not going to build that item you have to reselect that item to build it now once you have done that i'm going to select this item again select the same cylinder make sure you have no snapping make the pole as small as it can then make it stick out the bottom just a little bit and as well as the top make it stick out just a little bit and put it in the corner of the cube change it to white and metal then you're going to put one on every edge and it should look like that and once you do that change it to one fourth snapping and then copy it over to the other side now for the electrical components if you would like to build these select the box and drag it over and make sure it's not really touching the track so make sure that it is close so not touching it and make the make it not don't make it like a square like a little rectangle and then after that you can stretch it down just a little bit just a little bit past that box and then build it right there 
build and drag it over. Now you're going to select, you know, snapping, and select the cylinder, make it as small as it can go, and then make sure you have snapping now on 11.25. You're going to rotate it one degree or one degree of snapping, and then align it in the center of that box. And once you have aligned the center of the box, change the color to black, and then the texture to metal. And then make sure you have on relative space for this. Now pull it down to the middle of that, rotate it one more, and then do the same all the way down until you get near to the end. So you're gonna keep on building. And then when you get near to the end, like right next to the ground, let's say right about here, like really close, you're going to stretch it out to where it is really like laying on the ground, like that. And then if you would like to connect the wires to one box, stretch it out to over here and then select that box then you're going to put it over here and have the since you don't want such a big box have the wire like that and then make the box go up flatten the box and expand it a little bit on each side and then just have a little bit showing out of the ground so that it looks like it is sitting on something like that so it should look like that now you're going to select the first pole that you selected or that you place change the transformation space to global space one fourth snapping and then drag it over and then do the same for all of these small pieces and now when you get to the big piece just select it, drag it over, and then the same for this piece. But instead, what we're going to do, change it to relative space, and then we're going to change it to zero snapping, and rotate it just a little bit, and then expand it. And now try to align it up, right like that, in that little square. And then, make sure you place the piece and then that is how you make realistic drive tires also just know that i will be doing a tutorial on a realistic brake fin and launch fin for intamin coasters then i will most likely do a tutorial on realistic Breaks for other models.